So today we're going to be talking about twist in rear wings on cars. And this is something that you'll see in a lot of car wings, off the shelf ones, GT races, they have this twisted center section that's flattened out, whereas the sides are at a more substantial angle. Now, twist in wings is nothing new. Aircraft have been using twist in wings for ages. A lot of helicopter rotor blades are twisted towards the tip. But the reason that they use it is very different to the reason it's used on cars. And the reason that cars do it is due to the effects of the car's body. Automotive aerodynamics is all about interactions, and it's the interaction between the rear windshield and the wing that causes the twist. If we look at the back of our car, we can see that it's coming down like that to the boot. Now, the flow is going to stay roughly attached over the rear, presuming that you've done your job right upstream. So this means that the flow is coming down at a little bit of an angle, okay? So if we have our wing profile here, we can see that this is going to be going down on it. Now this means that the angle of attack of the wing to the flow is increased. Now the ramification of this is, is that a wing produces lift dependent on its angle of attack. If we look at the coefficient of lift versus the angle of attack for a regular sort of wing, we can see that as the angle of attack goes up, the lift increases. Once it reaches a certain critical point, the wing will stall, the flow will separate off the back of the wing, and the lift will start to decrease. It'll still produce lift, but it won't be as efficient. And drag will skyrocket up. So we can see that there's a certain angle range that we want to op operate in. Looking at the rear of the car, we can see that that angle has increased on the rear wing because of the downwash off the back of the car. This means you want to back off the angle to get it to work. However, the two side bits are not operating in the same region of flow. The side air flow is a lot cleaner. It's not being pulled down by the car. It's just sort of coming straight at them. So the result of this is, is that these don't need to be at the same sort of angle of attack to prevent stall. So what we do is we twist them up to work it harder. And that way we can have the wing going as close to stall as possible all over the entire wing. And therefore we get maximum downforce. Of course, the reason aircraft use them with a twist is very different to cars. What they're trying to do is reduce their induced drag. Now, to do that, they have to get their pressure distribution so that as small a vortex as possible is forming off the tip. So if you're not familiar with induced drag, you can check out my video on F1 rear wings. It explains it quite nicely. But basically, if we have a wing here, assume that this is the center of the wing and this is the tip. If we back it off, it means that the pressure differential between the top and bottom surface of the wing is lesser at the tip. So the air won't want to move around as much, so there won't be as much of the vortex. If we consider one that where the center is flatter and the outside is angled up more, like um, if you think of a car wing, this is going to have your most aggressive or your highest pressure differential at the tip. So this is going to produce a stronger vortex at the tip and not going to be very efficient for your induced drag. So what you want to do with your car wing is you want to back it off towards the edges. Now, of course, because there's a natural downwash in the center, you can actually do this. A dead flat wing across the center is equivalent to a wing that has less angle of attack at the edges. You've essentially used the flow from the body to convert it into a twisted wing profile. The twisted wing profile on a race car, all that does is just bring it from an effectively twisted wing profile back to effectively a flat wing profile with a constant angle of attack along it. So from this you can see that your most efficient wing, so your highest lift on drag, is going to actually be closer to a flat profile across the back of your car because that downwash is making it have this twist. Whereas a high downforce wing, so where you don't care so much about the drag, lower speed tracks, that will have the classic flattened off center and the higher outsides because it means you can drive the entire wing up to the stall angle which will ensure maximum lift. That's all for now on Twisted Wings. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next time.